Hello everybody and welcome back to Paul Quest 5. Uh, in this case, this is episode geez, 6, I think. And I don't know whether that's because I'm doing worse or the puzzles are harder or just this is a longer game, but this is as more this episode of Paul Quest or the, this series of Paul Quest has had more episodes than any other. So, I don't know, maybe I'm getting worse at these things. Anyway, uh, at the end of the last session, um, I died, which is not that unexpected by being whacked, um, because I'm a fly currently. In case you didn't notice, that's me right there. Um, so, uh, I spared you the, uh, me going all the way back through all that stuff. Um, because, you know, I wanted to look at the, do all the things that get all the information that I, as the player, know. But, uh... I didn't, I because I had to restore an earlier game, the game didn't know that I knew, or whatever. Just in case that makes a difference. And also so that my score is, you know, correct. Because, of course, I'm all about the high scores. So, anyway, we're back in this, uh... evil test chamber here. And, uh, let's just see if there's anything else that we can do. What is this? Misapplied Genetic Engineering. Genetic Research Laboratory. shape slightly darker than the hunt. Small whirring noise. Okay, so there's... Can I... Check out either of these? Apparently not. Hello? Even talk as a bug. Okay, well, I know that uh, Cliffy and WD 40 just teleported in. So let's see if I can do something with them. Obviously, Uh, just flying up to them was the incorrect move, which is what I did last time. Hello, fly. Okay. WD-40, robot an annihilator droid, come science officer. Talk to him. So he's gonna whack me again. Yeah, he is. Failure to communicate. Okay. Now I've saved. How about maybe to ignore anything as small than inside? <sighs> Alright. Is there anything I can do over here? Frog activated it. Hello! Oh, I can talk into the speaker. Hello, Flo. Eek, a monster! What did the galaxy happen to you? Put you put Cliffy on. Ah, here we go. Okay, cool. So maybe he won't kill me right away now. Is that too much to ask? 
no, I can't, can't go it that way. Turns out the flying of a fly is rather erratic. Oh yeah, this is where my body ended up. Uh, hi, Cliffy, don't kill me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Cliffy, you don't say. Can you describe the problem? <clears throat> Get me out of here! I'm a fly! What happened to the rest of you? I, I think I'm, I, he crawled into the trash bin up back! Where is this dumpster? I think it's behind that large up uh, rock outcropping. Go get my body. <laughs> yeah, those people will be lying, Cliffy, or be cruel. Phase polarity in the sure, do that. Energize Shaboik. That's not better. It's still not better. Be better. Hey, not funny, Cliffy. Seen the lab through the locking mechanism, found a big underground lab. Not so much I could do there as a fly. A moment too late, you realize saying the words advanced technology to Cliffy is like showing a photograph of a helpless woman and children to a government pincher. Wow! What the hell? Government pinchers aren't. If we can open it, we might find something to use against the pucoid creatures. I think Doberman Pinchers get a bad rap. Anything interesting in here? Hello, flies. Maybe I would be less inclined to smash them now. Every duck, every fly, maybe somebody actually in the middle of a transporter malfunction. It's important to remember that. Ooh! Wish I could fly. <laughs> Wait, no, no, don't, don't! Man. <laughs> that was like straight up monkey's paw wish there. No, I don't want to be a fly. I don't want to be a fly. Well, thanks for picking up my communicator. I really, I feel like you weren't strictly necessary for that, but okay. What are you, what's up, Captain? Hole punch. Oh, wait a minute. Hole punch and then business card. Ha ha. Okay, let's just figure this out. Let's think about this. 
it's there. I want it to block there, 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 and there. So I need to put holes everywhere else. Let's put a save in here. Because I apparently only have one business card. This is actually kind of neat. This is a cool puzzle. All right. Assuming it's going to go in Merchant of Venice size first. So it looks like that. Okay, so. Head saying no. Yes, I'm the man. And also a fly. Oh. This place looks nicer when I'm not a fly. Is this anything? No. Uh, let's see. Lab. I'm trying to remember to be good on the saving this time. kill me ah it's a tornado why was the tornado in a cage how what <laughs> is that like a Tasmanian devil all right let's try this one ah wait wait Wait, let's just see where this goes. Might not be bad. Oh, yeah, it was bad. Turns out things in cages are there for a reason. I think we've all learned something today. Is there anything in any of these? appears to be functional, but I can't. Apparently I don't care enough to actually function it. Functional. Can you walk to it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Non functional backup computing systems activated. So, what we found out last time from looking at the, um, the logs is that something happened. This was going to be all self-destructed, and the other two... And the other two, uh... 
um, modules were self-destructed, but something stopped this one from being self-destructed. Non-functional backup computing systems active. Wait. This is non-functional, but do do? This is this is not new information. You can get a lot faster now. Apparently I didn't need to get all this information while I was a fly. I feel like there's something to do here. Data link non-functional, data link non-functional. data link more functional. It with a stick. Holding circuit fuse and the warp distributor cap. Circuit fuse. I wonder if that's a thing. say something when I looked at it, when I did the look. What is this? Liquid nitrogen canvasters. Yoink! They certainly don't like liquid nitrogen. Stand cold. Oh, I knew that before. Does it reverse the process? No. I kind of knew that already, though, because I put, um, uh, what's her name? The ambassador into cryostasis. Can you find anything else? Okay. If Cliffy says so, then Cliffy is always right. I don't know why I think that. I have no basis for that idea. Gotta be somewhere. Oh yeah, Ambassador Wankmeister. How could I have forgotten? <gasps> Spike! What is it, boy? Transporter. Jump on the crowd. Somebody fell down the well. The mill is on fire. Manual control bypass to reverse the phase polarity interface and then use the transporter to reintegrate Beatrice's DNA molecules. Um. So we found down, fell down a well. No. Uh, 
Mill is on fire. It's troubled mill. Alright, let me just quickly save. Spike. Okay. The long one. That sounds complicated. Let's do that. Good boy, Spike. Ah, 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 ah. Oh. I do love Spike's hugs. Are we gonna make the ambassador like half horrible face hugger monster? So what are we doing? Okay, so we're gonna defrost her, I think. Which, there's a thing for that. 10 second defrost. I hope I don't cook her. What are you gonna do? Better do it quick. I'm a trying. Do it there. Do it, Cliffy. <laughs> Is she? <gasps> I thought you were puked for. Oh, I thought you were puked for sure. So did I. I feel I feel weak. I need to rest. No problem. I'll tuck you back into the cryo so you can recuperate. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Okay, but I've got just one question for you guys. What happened to my underwear? Uh... <laughs> Excuse me, Roger. I'm also kind of interested as to what happened to her underwear. All right, good job, everybody. We saved um, Beatrice, although she's still in the crowd too, but she's not frozen. She's just chillaxing, but not too chillaxed. Whew, okay. So, how do we do? Do you guys have any... Any insights? <coughs> any like things to do Starcon? Maybe we should go back to Starcon. Thousand worlds hang in the balance. Humans, xenomorphs, regulates, or rats, even species like dolphins. I mean, I'm kind of all right, or all right with o rats. Space monkeys. Sneaky way to get to them. Hey, Cliffy. Status report. Cloak. <gasps> what, we have a cloak finally? Yes! All right, we have a cloak. That's good. Let's do something with that. Let's go back to Starcon. Uh, one sec. For that. 
I need the Starcon address. Just in the manual. Which I have to go quickly look up. Everybody, stay calm. Uh, I can handle this. I just have to look up my manual. Okay. We go back to the space bar. That would be kind of nice. No, no. You need to be focused. Uh, oh. Uh oh. Uh. I don't have the address for Starcon. Uh, hmm. Hope that wasn't one that I was supposed to have written down. Um, hmm. a course. Zero, 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 zero. Uh, okay. Let's think about this. I'm sure they probably told me at some point. Ordnance locked in, that's for Commodore LX4, wait, that's, uh, Commodore, oh, Commodore 64, uh, I have no idea if that's the way, place I'm supposed to be going, I probably, Probably should say it before I do this. Light speed. Oh. Okay. D cloak. Light speed! Zoom! Off to Planet Commodore 64. Not entirely sure why, but. Get the feeling that I'm going to be using that regular speed. Standard orbit. I don't think this is the right spot. Scan for ships. Ah, so I is currently in the vicinity of gingivitis. Well, why didn't you say so before? I have a thing for that. Eat. One, one, zero, zero. Uh, you probably said it before, didn't you?
light speed. What is that thing that keeps going ping? Can we turn that off? Ping. Ping. All right, so we're going to go regular speed. For the presence of the Goliath in this area. Approximately 10 seconds. Push the button. Cloak. Haha. -ha. I'm sneaking. Haha. <laughs> -ha. What do you got, Cliffy? What kind of awesome new thing are you doing? Interesting information. Lay it on me, Cliffy. Not spread evenly throughout the various sections of the ship as it normally would be. Engineering spaces. Hmm. Well, yeah. Sneak up to the bridge power conduits and shut off the glass shields. We could beam over any capacity of the crew and I could zip over and set up something like I did with the ambassador with the transporter. Oh, ho, ho. Couldn't. Ion emitters, lots of hard radiation. Engines. Least amount of pucoid activity. Most glides weapons, probably swamp with pucoids. Lots of pucoids moving through there. Okay. So we can't actually like beam over, right? Because of the shield. So do I have to use that EVA thing again? I hope not. If I recall correctly, it was the worst. <laughs> that won't be of any help. Well, I have to rotate it, obviously. EVA? <sighs> Not looking forward to this. It's maybe another... Oh. Uh, it was like around there. Oh, good. Yay for autopilot.
I don't know what any of these things are. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, I have got a thingy for that. Laser! Bzzz. Fair enough. Okay. I am in the engineering section. Oh crap. No, no, where are you going? That wasn't the right way. Just out of curiosity, this is almost certainly gonna kill me. What am I saying, almost certainly? I just wanna I wanna see what happens. I hope I don't open this and there's just a guy like right there. Hey guys, oh, this is awkward. <clears throat> okay, fair enough. I'm just glad they don't make me pilot this myself. Okay. Wish I had a personal cooking device. quick enough. Maybe I have to stay down here. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Oh, he's coming back. It's gonna look like a pucoid, do I? Does he just patrol back and forth? Nope, he actually just heard me. I'm sneaking. Everybody be quiet. Good stair climbing there, Roger. Crap. Am I still hiding? Doopa doopa doo. Drive offline. Beatrice Lib oh, this is where she took the dwarf distributor cap. I mean, I could replace it, but because I, I have it, but that doesn't seem like a great idea. It's 
seems like a terrible idea. No, don't go that way. Alright. Alright, I guess I'll do this. Doesn't seem like what I want to do in this situation. What if I put this in? Circuit fuse. Go! What the... Got points for that. Why did I want to turn on that drive? Isn't that what we were trying to prevent? I'm trying to turn off the shields. This is a terrible idea. This guy wasn't waiting for me to hold it all. I'll try this one more time. Go, Roger. Make with the sneakies. So now the drive is on. Doesn't seem like a good thing. But we'll see how it goes. Run, Roger! No, okay. Clearly that's not what I should be doing. It's a lot of thrust. If I wait until he comes back to do another, or will I hide back down here? Crap, crap, crap. Ha! Huh, you missed! No, he's just standing there. I guess he's just waiting for me to come around. Well, um, 
Hmm. That was interesting. What the? I'm so confused. Necessary, but I want to. I want to talk to people back at home. Be like, help me! I turned the drive back on, and they're like, but why did you do that? I'm like, I don't know. Okay, the moment I try to leave that area, he gets me. To the greetings. Always good. Okay. Oh right, I'm so I was it was like I was supposed to go with the power conduits to the thing. So why did I turn the engine back on? Is that a stupid idea? I got points for it though. Chased by Pac Man, I guess. A little unclear what happened there. Ooh, level 8. One of the trademark Space Quest mazes. Oh. Or there's this now. Oh, plunges downward. I just got turbo lift smashed. Keep going. Ah. Did I make it? Nope. Didn't make it. Get in there! Yes! Okay, now I'm on level 6. Level 6. Is level 6 any different? Nope. She made it. Level nine. Okay. I guess I... if that's the highest, this cause I feel like I want to go up to the like level one. In which case, I need to find like a different turbo lift shaft.
level seven. Or, hey, wait, no, this is the right place. Excellent. Yay for wandering around aimlessly for a while. So this should be level four. Excellent. Let's put a save in there because I probably will not find it again. Level four. Uh, let's just quickly check above. Okay, yeah, this is the same. Really saving on uh, graphics here. All right. I'm going to work under the assumption that I just there's nothing interesting here, and I'm just going to try to get to level one. the way to do this would be like get out some graph paper and really map this thing but that ain't happening i'm more of the flail around randomly school of business let's go up more ever upward um wait don't smush me Ooh, he's level two. Can I get to level one? Aha! If at first you don't succeed, get smushed, then try again. Okay, level one. Right. Let's save level one. Damn it. Level one, you were supposed to be new and different. But no, you're just the same. You're just like all the rest. Do a quick check again, level two. I feel like I checked level three relatively thoroughly, or level one relatively thoroughly. Ugh, if I have to go back down through all the levels, checking all the in-between ones, this is gonna be a real pain in the patootie. And let me tell you, Roger knows something about having pains in the patootie. Love of Sigh. <laughs> hmm. Welp. Ah, the worst. A pity you can't stay, but I'm afraid you won't be with us much longer. I sound like you now for some reason. I won't go down without a fight, Quirk. I know Kung Fu, Karate, Taekwondo, Judo, and a bunch of other stuff. Young, no escape for you this time, young broom jockey. Your fate is sealed. Haha. <gasps> oh. Yeah! <laughs> Yay, WD-40! Good shooting with your uh, cryogenic boobs. Quick hide.
Get over behind the bulkhead. Yo, yo. No! Yeah! Boom! Now you're just normal people in really ripped clothes. So there's gonna be a big chunk of pucoid stuff in space. Oh, yeah, there is, isn't there? Uh, it's like a giant space loogie. Thank heavens for being to worry. I'm alright, Flo. We managed to cure what's left of the Goliath crew, but there's no sign of Quirk. Shuttle launch. Heading straight for the blob. Shmunk. Ah! Oh, this is bad. Phaser banks and zap them. Attacking the Goliath. Okay, good. At least that's distracting it. Run! Or just walk. That's fine too. Really? Magazine reading? Come on, people. This is a super scary, dangerous situation. Don't worry, I've got this all in hand. First, I'm going to save. <laughs> Blob. Um. Um. The sneaking aboard part. Ray shields! Oh. Okay, you guys got that covered. Uh. Fire! Shoot it in the butt! Eat plasma blob face. Um. Evasive action. Where'd it go? Munched. All right. So it looks like firing was the right move. I got a point for that. And. Oh, can we? Ooh. Yeah. Suck him in like the garbage he is. Blob aboard. 200% capacity, but they won't last for long. All right, you know what? Now's the time for the self-destruct sequence. I'm so excited. Activate it. Uh, 
Let's get it on! Oh, that looks unhappy. Oh, Jesus. Right, kind of forgot about her in the crowd too. Hey, buddy. What have you say, dear? Yeah, that is a solid plan. On to the transporter. Where are we transporting to? Don't know. Let's go. Oh crap. In. I hope it's not too late. Whoa! God, I almost forgot to get Spike. I hope I can take him with me. Oh, good. Yeah, that's right. That's right, buddy. Face hugs. There'll be lots of face hugs in the future. Let's try this again. I don't even know where we're transporting to. Oh, back to here. Okay, cool. Congratulations, crew, a job well done. And we even got a better ship out of it. I do deserve most of the credit. You know what? I'm a little hurt that you did doubt me. Heinous speed. Do, do I have a... She is definitely not belted in there. Congratulations, you've vaporized the bulbous personification of villainous Cap Captain Quirk, saving thousands, countless of lives from its menace. Fighting back ends the tremendous urge to plot a course to Disneyland. Roger and his loyal crew make their way back to Starcon. Yay! And all it took was wandering around in ch the uh, maintenance shafts for a really long time. So it ends. Another chapter the King Adventures of Roger Wilco. Stay tuned for future episodes of our courageous custodian and his crew as they continue their quest to clean up 
where others have gone before. Right, because if nobody had been there before, it wouldn't be dirty. Yay! All right, that was Space Quest V. I feel like it was not just me being dumber. I feel like that was longer than previous Space Quests. I'd like to think so anyway. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for uh, sticking with me for Space Quest V. And uh, of course, next will be Space Quest VI. And I'm happy to say that uh, I can tell you that uh, Space Quest for Space Quest VI, I'm actually going to have um, a special co-pilot guest. Um, for those of you who listened to the Fight the Future podcast, uh, I, uh, I'm going to be getting my brother to call in for Space Quest VI um, to help me out slash um, make fun of me, depending on how it goes. Yep, good old sprint. So uh, that should be interesting. Uh, I'm excited to see how it's going to turn out. So get ready for Paul Quest 6. And the game crashed, by the way, just at the very end there. So, yay!